Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebel Joe and this is War Cassant Resources Soviet Republic Season 8, the Trash and Maintenance Season in Realistic Mode. We were here, right back in the action, and we're going to start with the thing that I forgot last time, which was place a um, fire station. And I think we just want a little one. I would say three vehicles should be enough most of the time. It looks like, do we have... Oh, this one doesn't even care about heat. That's that's interesting. Does the big one care about heat? Yes, the big one cares about heat. <sighs> ooh, ooh, I am, I am tempted, tempted to not use the small one. But you know what? It's fine. This is at least in walking range of everything, and that's kind of what we care about. So how about we plop this here? So the goal today is definitely get some movements going. What do we have going on here? That does not need to be a, one of these. Suspend construction? No, just get it done. Well, we need a bus. It's fine. It's fine. Well, we're okay. Um, it's definitely getting some stuff done today. That is that is the hope. That is the goal. And the heating plan is important and all, but I would like to get a couple other things done first. How about we do this? How about we tell you half of these are important? And the other half isn't. <laughs> would you would you be better at that? Maybe. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But what do we need? We need a couple more vehicles. Like, do we want small dumpers or big dumpers? Mm. Small dumpers. <laughs> we'll just do four of those. Um, at least two more of these. Uh, four of these. And then maybe, how many buses do we have right now? Let's say we only have probably one bus driving around here and that is just not good enough. Well, two buses. Two buses is actually not bad, but we can get a couple more small buses, I think, um, that will get us they will get us some things moving. So let's get that one, this one, and one, two. Two should be fine. We could have changed the colors on all of these, but I'm lazy. That's not, that's not how I work. So, uh, yeah. All of those can do their thing, and my hope is that we get this one done uh, very quickly. And this one over here, honestly, I would like... What is that? It's a weird shadow. Um, this one over here I would actually like to get done right now. Now, that there has been a bug, and it's been around for a while, that causes um, the piece to the right here to turn into a construction mode that is in demolition zone. Looks like maybe they fixed it, but yeah, this thing, this thing was already done. Yes, that is the bug. <laughs> it's, it is very annoying. Construction has stopped. Construction not assigned to construction office. That's not true. No workers on mechanism. Okay. Um, demolition with demol... No, I don't want to demolish you. <laughs> that is exactly the bug that existed for a while, and I hope that will get fixed eventually, but this is not... This is not a place where I like to complain about bugs too much. I'd just rather have us keep moving. So how about we do that? Construction office. Yes. Uh, this one. Can you be part of the construction crew? Thank you. I would like you to come out here and start working on that thing. I don't need you to work on... Well, that's a, that's a sewer pipe. Those pipes are important. We really can't have any citizens here unless we have... Um, Unless we have, yes, the, yes. This is really annoying that it still does this. I, I am not a fan of that. Not not one bit. Because this side is fine. This side, no, said no, we're, we're fine. Um, demolition of demolition office. No. No, don't. <laughs> Let's see. I'm pretty sure that I cannot assign my construction crew to this one. Nope, no construction, uh, construction office selected. Well, makes sense. And now construction is already complete. So yeah, no, there's just something funky going on that I'm not a fan of. Oh well, we're just going to do this. Uh, should we get rid of you? Yeah, but that's going to cost us a little bit of stuff. You know what? We don't have a de uh, deconstruction office yet, so that's just what we're going to do. You, I, I knew that was going to happen, but um, here we are anyways. So how about we put you here next to, next to the gravel pickup when we eventually get to it. Then we can get, let's see, give me one dump, oh, waste. This is all waste, that's right. Give me one skid loader, very good, and one excavator, please. There you go. Aw, they're, they're different thingies here. <laughs> they look pretty, but I don't want to use them. And then we're just going to assign this to construction, and they can figure out what they need to do. Ooh, ooh. It's 
suspend? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sadly, it's just it's just in a bad state. It, eh, not a fan. Not a fan. Whatever. Uh, this de the, this demolition office, that is what it's called, also needs to be assigned to the place where it can do everything in. Um, I don't know if you can tell now, but this is the reason why we built all of that nonsense in the beginning in the first couple episodes because yeah this is pretty common uh once you start building anything we don't have that many vehicles moving around right now it's really just bare minimums if you want um do i have too much construction going on i feel like i kind of do i would like to prioritize roads for right now so let's get that one done that one done um three heating pipes is too much are you the big one um no you're almost done so how about we give you a little higher priority what about you you're also almost done which tells me you're probably right next to each other aren't you there oh yeah there are these two pieces i guess we only need one of you which then tells me this one is most likely not being constructed so this one does not need to be constructed either good very good so those are good then we have some pipelines going through the heating plant Honestly, the heating plant I can live without right now. Uh, road, again, that's important. Unfinished road here, that is important. Medium voltage wire and all those things. Yeah, I would like to get some power in, but they're not the highest priority items right now. They just take the longest uh, for no particular reason. So I guess this is fine. I would like this one done, though. Is the excavator here? Yes, the excavator is here and it's moving nice and sadly very slow. This is annoying, though. <laughs> Did I, did I mention that yet? Where's my where's my construction vehicle? It just hasn't made it here from the... Oh, change demolition mo a method. Use explosives. I haven't used them yet. But I don't want to. I, I, just, want, I just want this to work. And that'll be fine. Uh, nothing gets stored. Yeah, I don't want to store anything. Uh, where's this guy? You are... All the way out here. Okay, can you go a little faster so we can get a couple things done? Because I would like to start on the next phase, if you will. Where are you going? Are oh, you going straight to the construction zone? Well, isn't this lovely? The only problem is the demolition is going to take forever. Um, like that little waste truck, the skid loader, is going to take forever to get anything done here. So just be aware of that. The demolition itself is really fast, uh, but everything else is not. Well, I guess we're in the night zone now, so we're just going to get rid of the night, and then we can start doing something again. Cool. Lovely. Awesome. Our money is not ticking down. That is actually a really good thing, so I'm excited about that. New vehicle type available. I don't know if they've managed to add uh, ships that can hold waste yet. They should, but I don't know if they have, so maybe they didn't. Maybe they did. And race to the finish line. You are almost there. It's, it's pretty, it's just a different thing that they added that I think looks really great. So, uh, thanks for that. Oh, it's, an, it's another day again. Yeah, you go home, and where are you going? Oh, you're getting fuel. Yeah, makes sense. Um, you gotta go really far to get your fuel, don't you? Okay, this is the last thing we're gonna do with this guy, because I'm not, I'm hopefully not needing to deconstruct anything else anytime soon. I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost winter. <laughs> the first year is almost over. Oh, this guy's done. Uh, that is actually really good news. Here's what we're going to do. Give me two big uh, dumpers. And yes, we, we are pumping money in here that we maybe not have. Uh, but I do think it is a... I do think it's a smart investment, at least for right now. I think we can do better things later on. But what, what, look, look at this. They're actually doing things and they're getting done with the stuff that I need them to get done with. This is really good. This is really good news, because now we can start doing the footpaths here, and that is important. Let's do that. Let's do our construction office and actually assign these things as they uh, are supposed to. And then they can start building those, because then uh, we can get started on building the smaller pieces of the footpaths, and those are the ones that we want to get those buildings done, um, or at least start it. And once we can get the building started, we can also get uh, the waste waste in, uh, introduced in those areas and all those things are very 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 important this needs to be a gravel road just because it has to um there's a little bit of gravel moving here that is great um yeah this is all just 
temporary stuff later on. You. I want you to store gravel. Um, actually, notify me when you're empty. Uh, the trucks that we have here will be our main transport for the time being until I find a better place for you guys. This could be a distribution office, but we really... We, we will... Re we will... Okay, words. We will need a lot of gravel for the time being, so I'm not... I'm not opposed to this. Uh, heating plant. You know what? You're not that important right now. That's fine. We can... It is important enough once we have citizens, so may as well get that one done, right? Yeah. This does not have a city name. That is silly. Let's do this. Create. Cousin <sighs> Chad. Chad. Yeah. Chad. Thanks, Chad. Um, as usual. Thanks, Chad. Okay. No. This is all good. This is all fine. They're gonna they're gonna get a couple things done. F3 for underground view and this is what I want to look at. Are these both assigned right now? You are and you are. I think this one, yeah, that one can get built. This one we don't need. This one we don't need. And this one we don't need. Which also means this, because it looks like there's another connection here, we don't need. Perfect. So we got that figured out. Um, there's a little bit of dirt road here, which I honestly don't hate because there are things that we need to connect to here. Let's get me a regular footpath. Oh, that's just a pipe connection. Oh, we need a road connection here. No problem. Let's get a road connection in there so um, they're happy. Let's get you right there. That's good. Then I can get build over there. Um, that should work. Why am I saying there, there, there so much? I know 100% that that is not the best way to describe anything, but yet here I am still saying those words, and that is a little silly, but that's okay. We still don't have power. Okay, without power, we really can't do much about... Um, the storage that we have over here because to turn this one on we do want some power at least moving around a little bit what are how, how we're looking what is our main thing that we're missing road hi footpath hi voltage wire um not that important this one i think i want you to actually get done sooner rather than later heating pipe this one is one that's probably yeah, still a thousand work days away and we only have a limited amount of workers that we can pull in every day, so be aware of that. You, are you going to make me money? Yes, you're going to make me $22 for dropping off uh, gravel that I bought before for probably more money than that. How cool is that? Hey, look at that. We have some gravel already being delivered here, but before that is half full, I, I don't see a reason why we need to really do anything with that. Uh, assign all the things that we care about. Yep, get this done. Get it done. Thank you. Get that one, and then yeah, once those large pieces are done, we are in a really good spot to do the next things. And that makes me excited. Cool. What do we have going on over here? I should probably just make this connection. There you go. And then this one has to be connected to something later on too, but um, actually. Okay, F4 to turn off the snapping, that should work. And then you can actually connect to here, and now we have we have the things that matter. And that's that's important. Construction, get all of these things done, and honestly, they really shouldn't take that much longer to get to get to those. So I'm hoping that is a well. I'm hoping that gets done quick. Um, you're the underground pipe. Yeah, you can stay there. This is still fine. Okay, first industry. Yeah, we need to think about it. We need to worry about it, and we need to do it right. So, let's look at our menu. What, what's on the menu today? We have economy and trade, current prices on the global market. What could we sell? Nuclear fuel, don't know where it is. Okay, you have six, don't know where it is. Clothing is always high on my list of things that I wanna do. And really important, it doesn't require research. One, that's really big. And we can pretty much produce this very early on, very quickly, because all you need for clothing, let's go over here, miscellaneous, is fabric. And fabric is very easy to transport. Did they update the, the ratio? No, it's a one to two ratio. So clothing factory, okay, sounds good. Um, and a fabric factory, if we wanna run this, pr one fabric factory produces enough for two clothing fa uh, factories if we have water, cool. All this requires is a tiny bit of chemicals, uh, less than a truck full, some crops, um, about two trucks full, and 11 cubic meters of water. 
none of that is a lot. That is all very doable. So I think I would like to get into the clothing market again. I know that's a that's an old hat potentially, but it really works. And I think this is a great space to do some farming later on if we if we want to introduce our own um, production. And then I wanted to use this space up here simply because it's so close to the border that our truck traffic should not be bogged down by anything, which is important. And we should be able to produce and move enough material um, without problems and we don't need a train for it and that's important we don't have a train we're not going to have a train for a very long time if we have a train by episode 10 i'll be very impressed <laughs> that's not going to happen um one thing that i should probably look at is we are getting close to snow time so um, we need some temporary technical service offices until we are um at least situated so how about we plop those in here. I don't know if we need two. We need at least one. Assign you there and get me a couple. Well, did they change this? Wasn't that four before? Did they change it to just three? Um, if they did, kudos. Uh, I can appreciate that. Does this not work anymore? There we go. Blue. Yes, give me the blue one. Is that the best snowplow that I can do here? Uh, snowplow. Yes. Um, there you go. One, two, three. Cool. I don't care about mud roads that much, but everything else you can do. And well, on mud roads, you can't actually place a sign saying, hey, don't go here. So um, that's the extent of all the things that we can do here. I don't know if you noticed, but I am attempting to not uh, skip things. <laughs> and I don't know yet if that's a good or a bad thing. It's definitely a thing that I'm trying to do, um, but it may bite me uh, later on. But for right now, that is the goal, and that is the hope, and that is all those things. Okay, we have some things that we can actually assign here. That's that's very good. Can't do that one, though. <laughs> Sorry, I had to run upstairs for just a second, and... Uh, well, here I am. Uh, why is this... Oh, this is assignable because it's dirt road, and that one's also assignable because it's that. That is totally fine, because I don't think we have that much... Um, Oh, we do have that much in construction right now, so let's just leave it alone. <laughs> Oopsies. These guys have to get done. I do think we're a little low on excavators, so um, that is something that I can fix right now really quick. Let's see. Make that one a star, and then one, two. Two, okay. Um, and then I also want a new road crane. We only have one right now. I think one, two more of these will actually speed everything up and that will make me excited. That's cool. How are we doing here? 200 tons. I need you to go faster. Much faster than that, but that's fine. Do we have some money? Let's see. I think the starting loan that we get is almost 2 million. So yeah, that, that money should be enough to get us rolling into whatever else we need to do here. So... Not terribly worried about that. I just had a thought. We have this thing that's already here that we could use to do all our material deliveries of whatever we care about. What am I talking about? Um, I was planning on putting all of the industrial things here that are not connected to anything, but we have this big space, this wide open space over here that's close enough to the city that we can get there. We can totally build some um, railroad crossings here, which are not ideal, but eventually we can probably build a bridge over it and make that a little faster and more efficient. Um, that's nice. And the most important thing, this has open factory connections and a lot of them. <laughs> so yeah, part of me thinks maybe this is the better place. I, I really thought I wanted to put it there, but this space over here is much more it makes a lot more sense because then we can start using the the industries that we have here and we can deliver onto this uh, cargo station there's there's a lot of reasons why we should use this one instead of the empty space over there and use the empty space for more farming yes that's what i'm gonna do because i like it but we have some footpaths that are done so we need to get more foot uh, footpathing organized how about this run you over here and get the first I don't know, um, three or four housing units done. I think that will be a good start. You can come out here and then connect to that. And yeah, what is this building? Oh, it's a school. 
Why is there no footpath connection over on this side? Who knows? Nobody will know. But this will get us started in the things that we need to do. This is the theater. Can you get that one done? I would like to get a footpath in here. Thank you. Uh, this is the theater. How about we get you down here into there? Into there. And then we can just put a little crossing over there. That will be fine. Yeah, we're, we're moving up in the world. I like it. Um, let's get that one assigned. Let's get this one assigned. There's some water stuff that needs to get assigned now. That is all good. Make sure that you can do these. Lovely. This is moving, which is at some point all you can ask about, <laughs> ask for. So that is really good. We actually don't need this to even be considered to be constructed because that is not important. Yeah, no, that's what we're going to do. Let's build our first industry over here. And the other advantage is we have the heating plant here. So if we put the industry a little to the left offset, all of this will be delivered via one bus station, which you know me, I can appreciate that. Okay, let's get going. Um, fabric factory. This is the center of our thing. All, all of the, all, everything has to go through here, but we also need the storage. So let's throw some storage in there. And here I am willing to go bigger. Um, this, I guess, is an 880 tons of crops warehouse or 1280. It costs just a lot of concrete, but nothing else. It's nice and big. That is a lar very much a big advantage. So I kind of want to use this one. Um, having the road connection on that side, I don't think is beneficial in this case. So how about this? Again, this is all vanilla. This is now in vanilla. It wasn't before, but now it is. Um, if we put you here, maybe I have a chance. Let's see. I'm going to make this long. I don't know if I want it long. Okay, so you can go there. And this, this makes it really easy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Totally does. Um, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that because I built this. And this will maybe make it hard for the rail thing to happen. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I, I, think, I think we're in really good shape here. And then you, I need, uh, obviously you need, you need water and things. You can be kind of offset here. Is that good enough? I'm not 100% sure. I think I want you offset there. Okay, put you there. Um, I think the distance is still appropriate, especially if we go underground. There are some, there are some footpath connections there that we can definitely use. And then we have this. Yes, this is something that I was kind of imagining would work. And then we have this, flip you around and uh, move it all around. And now we have a nice little, at night, <laughs> a fabric factory. I, I, can't, I can't see a good, oh my gosh, this is terrible reason. So we're just gonna stick with this. Now, where do I wanna connect this in? Because this one can be delivered to um, via this cargo station, which is actually a really, really, really big deal there's only 300 tons so far that's that's not good <laughs> we, we need a lot more than that um oh well we'll figure it out how what what is our power doing power is still not ready to do anything footpaths are not ready to do anything we can start building the shopping center though that's that's a plus oh come on is there really like a half a ton 0.52 tons of gravel just just let it happen stop Stop. Oh well. They can figure that out. That's that's not my job. Okay, back to here. Let's do the things that we need to do. So, I want to make sure that we have a spot that can deliver workers to all of these guys. So, if I put it here to there. 260 meters. That is perfect. Um, okay, that that is one. If we put one here, it's still 220 meters. And now if I do, let's see, there's a reasonable place to drop people off. Out to here, over here. That is a little more because 420 meters is just outside the range. But we can totally put a, um, hmm, we can put a tunnel here and then that would require another tunnel there. So that doesn't make it very, very easy. I would like the drop off zone to be on that side of the, of the rail. That's the only thing that's important here. Yay, the first snow. Um, that's the only thing that's important, um, but that should be okay. Yes, I don't have a 
train drop off state uh, location there because honestly i don't think we need that many workers here but we should triple check because i always mess that up 100 workers okay um and 80 so 100 in the middle and 80 and 80 on the sides plus the heating plant i believe is 30 let's see here 30 so um 300 people 300 people you can probably do per shift so we need 900 people to work here uh, we can probably do that with buses like four buses can easily do 300 people i don't think that's a huge deal so yeah i'm, uh, I'm pretty confident with the, the, the decision i've made so far that yeah we'll just make this a thing um but honestly thinking about it there's no good way for me to place a, a bus station over here that is not that it's going to be in range of these guys and there is this i could put i could put a crossing here i can also technically put a crossing here neither of those are perfect so i'm really tempted to just make a really early bridge that's always really expensive but i feel that's the right thing to do here and i get to play my favorite game of um what is it no that's the wrong one this one yay get to play my favorite game which is this is how you build an elevated bridge that doesn't look like complete crap <laughs> so you add a little bit of bracing to your existing thing wherever you want it then you hope that you have some excavators available um and then you see that your excavator range is a well not the excavator range that your uh, ter terraforming range is a little bigger than you expected and you have to expand out things a little more um but once you're done with this and it's all wide enough and far enough out, there you go, and there you go, you can go to excavator land. How high do you need this? Well, about 15 meters is what usually seems to work. So let's see where the cursor is. The cursor is currently at um, 6.8 meters here and six, let's call it six meters on both sides. We can start by getting up to no free excavator in the depot. That, that, that makes perfect sense because we're constructing a lot. We can start by getting up to, let's say, um, 15 meters. And 15 meters might be high enough to get an actual bridge in there to do something. So I am very willing and happy to try that. The only problem we have is we don't have an excavator available. We're not going to have an excavator available for quite some time. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, this is partially cheating but also partially very necessary it's just a short-term lease on getting an ex uh, excavator so we're just going to turn auto search off i will should i just do i, do I, I don't need to buy one i want to buy one I actually want to buy two because it's going to take a while and then we're going to get our excavator in and there's so much construction going on that it's it's not a it's not a sin to have a little bit of extra um like quick time <laughs> there we go um they're both parking here and they're currently not doing anything how's it going in the city by the way they're they're getting some things done which is great so how about we get um, a couple buildings assigned that are now in range is that one in range yet no oh forgot about this very much forgot about this uh footpath you may not stay where you are <laughs> we only need a footpath here um, excuse me. We only need a footpath here to get. Sorry, we only need a road here to um, get to our construction site. Everything else can be done by footpaths. So I guess I just got lucky and that can actually get constructed there, which is uh, pretty neat. Um, there's another piece of road. Yes, these can all be graveled up if we really want to later on. But for right now, this is sufficient. Oh. I'm not surprised that that is not letting me do the thing that I want to do. Um, this doesn't have to be exactly there. I would like it there because it actually was a really nice location, but I guess I screwed that up. So that was a little substation for power. Um, if I... Oh, yes. It's actually in the same location. Um, it, didn't, it didn't do the con uh, construction or the road there, but now it did. So... That is all great, and we could assign all of those things to our construction offices, but I really just need them to get started on things. They don't have to be perfect right away. Um, let's see, I need you. Just another piece of footpath. And there you go, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, 
five buildings ready to rock and ready to roll. And I think I see a very good spot to put our first uh, trash receptacle. So let's do that. And we're going to start with just the big garbage containers because... Uh, no, we can't. <laughs> we're going to start with the small garbage containers, but with uh, footpaths. I think right here should be in range of pretty much all the buildings that we're building right now, which is super, super helpful. Um, and if it isn't, then, well, we have to fix that later on. But for right now, they're in range because I want them to be. Let's get you here and let's get a little diagonal going there and then continue this out to here. Very good. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to keep, we're, we're going to continue uh, connecting those things as they become uh, available. And I think I'm okay with that. Get you assigned over here. Uh, yes. No, I, I like where we are. I, I really, really like where we are because this is actually moving fast enough where I feel confident that eventually all of this is actually going to get done. Um, it looks like you... Why, why are you snaking here? Okay, fine. I'll just do this. <laughs> um, construction offices, yes. And... Ha <laughs> How do I want to say that? Uh, I highly recommend that you actually do this micromanagement. I, do, I don't do a lot of micromanagement right now, but I definitely do some micromanagement, and I highly recommend that you actually do that because um, if you don't do it, you're going to regret it. So definitely do it. Okay, uh, back to here. The thing that we actually started on doing. <laughs> uh, race terrain. We want to go from 6 meters to about 15 or 16 meters, and at some point you will be able to try and actually put a bridge over all of this. And once you kind of put a bridge, um, you're done. So that is good news. Two excavators seem like they're building fast enough. You can totally build the bridges without this. Um, it's totally up to you. I mean, you don't have to do what I tell you to do. Um, so if you just want to build the bridges with the really steep incline in the beginning and the high hook on the side, that is totally fine, be my guest. Let's start at 13 meters because it's already making a really big... Um, hill or mountain or thing here that I don't want to go too crazy about Then hide from center with a bulldozer, which we don't have available Guess I'm just gonna waste a little bit of money. They're not that expensive four thousand dollars for something that can actually get done at a decent time uh, Feels like it's worth it. Go 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 get your stuff get some fuel come back home. Thank you um, Now that one bulldozer is gonna do things here that uh, I hope will be totally worth it and uh, worth your time. Height from center. We're going to go a little bit over here. Um, 18 meters is... Well, there you go. F2, yes. I, I should have probably had this on the whole time. F2 is probably the, the right button that we want to press here. But that is our height. Now we have to check what bridge we want to actually place there. Um, we don't have that many available. I prefer these, even though... They cost distance between pillars. That is news. Uh, 57, 77 meter. Wow. Um, I do prefer the things that have the big arches on top. One, they're pretty. And two, oh yes, already works. Um, I, I think that's a winner. <laughs> I think that's a winner. I don't, I don't know about you, but this, well, it, it almost looks good. It almost looks good already. I, the thing is, I already know that the height is good. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let's get rid of that bridge for the time being, then go back here, get our height from center. We're gonna get it from here, 12 meters, 81. We're just gonna go over on this side and get 12 meters, 81. So it's nice and flat, so the bridge can look nice. There you go, very good. Uh, and that should all be, well, exactly like you expect it to be. Um, and it's night again, but it's, it's nighttime, so it actually looks fine. Then we need to get this pretty much just diagonal to, uh, oh, that, that, that is um, actually symmetric. I'm surprised. It is symmetric, but this may or may not do the thing that I needed to do. Honestly, I think this is fine because we still have to come over here. Oh, yes. This, this is totally... I'm totally digging it. <laughs> get it? Get it? Uh, <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all week. Um, okay, so now we really just need this thing to come in here. You are a dirt rope, which is perfect for what we're going to do next. 
um, just take out that piece of road. Honestly, take out this piece of road too that can just connect to this. Then give me um, a nice, a reasonably angled piece of road like that. And let me build this. Too steep of an incline, then make the incline less. <laughs> no, no, make the incline less. It's, it's fine, take that one back a little bit. Do it again. I know you want to. I know I know that you can. Let me do the thing. There you go. That is that is what I, what I want to see from you, not this part. I want this. Yes. Yes. Okay. That side seems to be happy already. This side also happy. That is as smooth as I'm going to get it. <laughs> let's uh let's be clear on that. That is as smooth as I'm going to get it. So let's shall we sign that? Um, I'm pretty sure that the side on the north side is definitely ready to go. So yeah, they can they can just go um, construct that. The south side is the thing I'm not 100% sure of because we need to place. Well, yeah, the the border is right there and it won't let me move. <laughs> we need to place it in a couple different things. I need to put a bus stop somewhere here. Do we have first of all a footpath here? Yes, we have a footpath here, and they can just go up there. That is fine. We can also build a small little pedestrian bridge there. Um, that would totally work. Let's get rid of our um, bracing. Don't like that I have to do it this way, but that is fine. Don't use the bulldozer because you're going to destroy things that you actually care about and may or may not come back the way you had it in the first place. Cool. But now we have this thing and it actually looks nice on everything that goes on over there. We could put a pedestrian bridge across here and then connect it down there to ooh, ooh, I am a fan of that. And with that, I believe we can probably put a good bus station right here. Let's see what we have available. Roads. We have normal bus stops. Look like this. Huh? Uh, this will totally be sufficient. Totally 100% be sufficient for what we need to do here. People just have to go uh, work somewhere. I can't get close enough to actually see something. Um, but if we do that, I think I want to put you... No, I kind of like this angle because that makes it a little easier to get all our footpath connections to the, uh, the way that we need them. And maybe that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. So if we put you there, that's good. Um, if we take this back just a tiny bit until we can build a smoother connection, just like that. Very nice. Yes, I like that. Um, then we need, well, there's there's a piece of road that needs to be connected here. It doesn't have to be a gravel connection. Well, I'm making a gravel connection anyways. <laughs> We're going to go around here. Can you make, nope, we can't make it straight. Okay. We're just going to go to the edge of that factory and make it a nice curve. And that looks pretty good, if you ask me. Yes. Yes, I like this. And now, footpaths. Um, I know for a fact that this is less than 400 meters. This is exactly the path that I want this to take. This is option one. Option two is going up the hill, putting a, um, a bridge across this, and then coming downhill there. It's going to cost us a little more, but I think um, the price will be worth the uh, admission. Let's see. If you come from here, some of our infrastructure is in the way. Some of our infrastructure is in the way. Some other infrastructure is in the way. Infrastructure that is other is in the way. Okay, I guess it doesn't want to play nice with, with me today. You know what? That's a shame. I really tried. Let's see if the other bridge, pedestrian bridge, is a little different. Nope. And nope. And heart nope. Okay, well, whatever. Um, I, I don't need you. <laughs> we can we can do this without you. Let's flatten this out a little bit so it looks a little more elegant. Same thing over here. That mountain doesn't have to be as big as it was. This is going really fast. I'm, I'm just using a bulldozer, aren't I? Yeah, I, I don't have money to do this yet, so um, I'm, 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 I'm genuinely surprised how fast that was going. But I guess I shouldn't complain about that. Let's go get out of the night mode. Thank you. The, the winter is almost over, which is also a big, big deal. Let's turn off the contour lines. And a bus station is done. Cool. This thing is getting done. I mean, that's something. And the other things are also moving along. How about deconstruction over here? 22 tons left. Yeah, it's not going to move. <laughs> we need more skids to do things. 
and this this thing has to also get shorter how how are we doing over here 600 tons okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna assign our source of gravel now to the new place which is right there and um, we're going to move all of our dumpers to the same location um apparently we can only send two dumpers there okay uh, two dumpers can just get their stuff still from the construction uh, sorry from the customs house and uh, the rest will go up here and should alleviate some of the traffic out here that's all we can do right there so that should be fine let's get this one done you can totally pedestrians are not blocked by trains just be aware of that but i'm going to plan for the thing and we're going to use steel because it's industrial this is clearly an industrial setting um where's my footpath we can totally connect it to this so put a steel one here and i'm going to press rr to turn it around so it's actually looking really nice to ooh, ooh, no we're, we're we're nowhere near a, a usable grid here so that's not that's not going to help us let's put this as close as we can that looks fine i think this is my winner um, and that path can go right there and this path can go over here oh it's actually a straight line i love it um and here is a um a kicker we can't build this because we need a road connection to build the footpath so um once we're once we have this road constructed i will actually add a footpath here that connects that thing and have the footpath also go all the way around so we're not going to build this bridge until we have a little bit of money um, any of these because they cost steel but we're still going to be able to work here just by gravel paths so that will be really really nice so cool is that money here no <laughs> we need some workers first we just have half a million left how is our power we are getting power buildings without power supply that is because we are not currently importing power i set it to import but i haven't said how much yet so uh, you can't well, you can't overdo that so what we're gonna do now is probably should i start farming already it's not it's not a bad thing to start with it's not a bad thing to concentrate on really early on because it's really easy money now fertilizer is important and um, we may have to finagle things with that just a little bit here or there how's this going we need bricks and boards and steel and all that stuff Makes me think maybe we should have this one imported. I don't know. What's our main thing that we're trying to import right now? You're doing gravel right now, okay. You're doing bricks, yes. You're doing bricks, okay. You're doing boards, okay. You're doing bricks. At least the loads are all full, so that's that's actually a really good sign. And there are moving. Let's move them a little faster because we're, we're at the end of January. We're going to make it to February here in no time. And at least this is running. Oh, something that I wanted to show you because I've seen people asking about that. Let's turn on the cheat mode, just for the time being, and go to general debug settings. You see this line? They're all just waiting in line here, even though there's someone already in front of them. Um, experimental traffic pathfinding. We should see, maybe not right away, but we should see, yeah, this one, is going to the other lane that doesn't have a queue in front of them. Just thought, if you, if you didn't know that it existed, it's a thing that you can do. Um, I honestly don't know if that's if that sticks around after you turn off cheat mode and then reload the game. I think you just have to do that every single time, but hey, that's fine. They, they look like they're happy now. So good stuff right there. This one does not need a high priority. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to this one. Okay, yeah, you can you can start building that. That is fine. I think we want the second construction office here pretty soon. Uh, once winter is over, that will actually help a lot because our paths are not very fast right now. How's this going? We still have 16 tons of construction. It's still two truckloads. <laughs> We're never going to get done with that. That's fine. Yes, I think farming is something we, we can totally get into right here, right now. I forgot that I didn't have anything out here anymore. Um, it's a good thing um how's this going you are all kind of connected to something cool looks like those pipes are done excellent um let's see what our construction offices are actually doing right now plumbing uh we oh oh plumbing this guy does not have friends yet <laughs> so 
I guess we have to get you um, assigned to this and they can start working on this as well, just at the same time. Yes, because those are important, uh, very important pieces of construction. And then we have a switch sitting right here that also begs to have a footpath connection. There you go. Um, maybe go to that one. And then here we have some, well, at least a fire station sitting there with some waste already being produced. I'm not sure how that happened, but it, it did. Um, and yeah. Cool. Now, uh, winter is here. Our, I think our time is up. We're not going to do the farm right now, but I'm very happy with this setup. I think that will make a good chunk of money really, really early on. We can extend out to wherever we want to. We can even get our material or our uh, product or our fabric, if you want more fabric, um, moved around by train, which is pretty sweet. Um, now we just need some time to actually get a couple things done here. Oh, uh, this one definitely needs to own trash handling otherwise that's gonna go crazy um but yeah that's a that's a problem for some other time and export exports are just gonna go through here and then eventually make it back onto the onto the highway i think that is that is a okay all i want to do is see this during the day because um it's much better looking and doing things so now we're just gonna run this forward a little bit and i hope you enjoy that thank you very much for watching we're going to watch these guys construct some things at um, treacherous speeds. And once they are done with that, we will move on. Thanks for watching. Next time, we need to build things. And I hope next time the city will be done. Once the city is done, we can concentrate more on getting the factory uh, factories moving and done. And that is good. Um, there's still a lot of footpathing and other things that we have to do here. The heating plant has to be done. We cannot invite citizens right away. We have to import, we have to fill up our coffers on uh, materials first. So we need food, we need clothing, we need um, electronics, we need coal, we need all the things that people actually care about. Is this one done? You look, you look pretty much done. Nope, there's still 82% waiting there. Oops, <laughs> jumped the gun there, but that's okay. I'm surprised the snowplow made, uh, made it all the way out here. It actually makes me happy. But yes, as you can see, there's still a lot of stuff that we need to do and figure out and build before we even start. And that's that's just the name of realistic mode. Everything takes so much longer to get to a state where you can do the things that you want to do. Everything does, not just a single thing. Everything takes longer now. Uh, there's my construction office. There are these guys. Yes. Uh, how about these footpaths get done? Thank you. Um, all those things need to get done. This one needs to get done. I think we have some footpaths here that need to be built. Yes, we do. Um, yeah, no, we, there, there's a lot more stuff to do. I don't know if you noticed that, but there is. And that's what we're going to do. And when we're done with that, we will figure out the next steps. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.